gets him to uh, this area. The closing down has been better than the Spanish club, but uh, Zola rolls it through to Viali, who looked for Petrescu, or played the ball to where he thought Petrescu was. Rather fortunately, Chelsea have got a corner out of that. Best ball by Viali. Uh, Soler in the end could only put it out. Oh, and the touch by Frank LeBeuf. Very nearly led to uh, an opening for Viali. Goalkeeper was caught, having made a terrible misjudgment, really. There's been some talk that Danny, the uh, Mallorca number nine, might play for an English club next season. Zola. Babillaro. Masso. Babillaro. Comes to Wise. Beaten away by Roa. Morris trying to keep it in, didn't even earn the throw in the end, but that was a much better strike by Dennis Wise, who, well, for the third time in this game already from midfield, has challenged Mallorca with his forward movement, bit of swerve on the ball then, that's led to that continental style of goalkeeping. Wise, it's a useful ball, the goalkeeper in no man's land again, and very fortunate that... Babayaro in trying to keep the ball down, struck the shot within Roa's redress. But look at the uncertainty of Argentina as a number one goalkeeper. And Babayaro sensibly uh, not wanting to sky the shot. But Roa made up for his error. Here's Wise and another strike at goal for the captain and more comfortable goalkeeping for Roa. Dutch referee uh, allowing a fair measure of physical contact. That's lovely elusive play from Zola. And he's just overdone it. And in the end, put uh, down another player who's got uh, Z-O-L-A on his shirt. That's the last part of his name, Olai Zola. Brought out by Marcelino. Obviously holding a, a back line well up the pitch and winning an offside decision here. Hard work is the message that uh, Hector Cooper preaches to his players. Viali, that was very cleverly done for Petrescu, the shot from Morris. More work for Roa. Knocked out by fellow countryman Siviero. Chelsea get it back again. Babillado. up by Lasso and the goalkeeper <laughs> this time with foot raised for self-protection it's been a mixed game for Roa so far it's been a good game for Jody Morris for this point and Chelsea now find that Morris is penalized criticism of Chelsea has been over the last couple of years they haven't encouraged enough of their Homegrown products. They are a club with a very uh, good youth policy. Biagini. So 15 minutes left in the first half. Babiaro first to it. Taken on by Lasso. Well, 
by Olezola. On from Lauren. That's his Spanish name, incidentally. He does play for Cameroon under a different name, which is very confusing for all of us who try to keep the records. Out comes the goalkeeper and a chance for Mioca. They've scored through Danny. And Chelsea suddenly showing a soft centre. And the travelling Spanish fans are thrilled with this. No emotion from Hector Cooper. But it was a sudden dagger into the heart of Chelsea. And inflicting the pain was the 24-year-old Spanish international, Dani. Skip round the Huy. Nothing LeBeuf could do about it. And Chelsea are behind. The holders hurt here, but how badly? Robillaro and LeBeuf, they're looking to make their moves. Petrescu. Very, very close from Marcel Dussay. Well, it was a strange free kick, really, contravening the uh, principles of getting a better angle, a wider angle for a ball in. It was a straighter ball in the end that nearly did the necessary. And uh, just a whisker away from Desai. Just brushed that post, in fact. Lasso. Question here of how much Mallorca will try and use their defensive strengths to soak up Chelsea pressure, and that pressure already starting in this second half. Wise going in, Flo is there! Ty Andre Flo, within five minutes of coming on as a substitute. It was a difficult ball to strike. It was a glimmer of a chance, really, but it's got the glint back in Chelsea's eyes. It's 1-1. from Petrescu and uh, it came off Marcelino I think and sat up not at a convenient height but nonetheless the adjustment here by Flo to volley it over Roa's head and to volley Chelsea back into the picture and from Zola gone out. Hold the ball. And was it even an offside decision in the first place? The so had had a wave at it and missed, but why certainly wasn't offside. Did the hold of the ball go over there? Not, maybe not, but the play was stopped. Viali. Out to Dan Petrescu. Headed on by Zola, and by the goalkeeper this time. And he doesn't mind taking on the big man, uh, Dennis Wise, and he looks as though he might have had a little bite at Marcelino there. Uh -huh. That was play acting. I'm not so sure that it was. LeBeuf trying to inject it again with the help of Poyet. And Morris. Petrescu wasn't quite sure whether he would get that. A little hesitation. Probably Soler was already going to uh, get a foot in. Wise. And suddenly passed it away, Viali. Nothing about Viali. Even when it's not really going for him, as is the case tonight, you know that he will not switch off, that he'll twist and turn and work and he won't hide and he is uh, on the ball again breaks for Petrescu across from wide and that's Poyet and that's what he does so well that was a textbook piece of play from Gustavo Poyet coming in at the far post 
And that's how he gets so many of his goals. And uh, not too rusty after this long layoff. He's got the height, but he's got the desire. 